hi this is anil and welcome to the video tutorial on java programming so in this tutorial guys i'm going to teach you about the logical operators in java so in the previous tutorials you know we have learned about the comparison operators you know which are used to form a condition what we can do is we can use this logical operators along with that comparison operators and we can form the complex conditions so let's begin so first of all what are the logical operators available in java so we have the not operator we have the and operator you know the ampersand symbol twice and then we have the or operator and then we have the exclusive or operator so i'm going to teach you guys you know how to use all these operators in our program and the logical operators are also called as the boolean operators because they are going to work on the boolean values and they're going to produce the new boolean values so if it is confusing don't worry you know when we see this in example it's going to be clear so let's get started so first we're going to learn about the not operator or you know the logical not operator so as i told you before you know this logical operators are going to work on the boolean values so we're going to use this not operator with a boolean value so when you use it with a boolean value what happens is it's going to reverse that boolean value so if we have let's say true and if we use the not operator along with it what happens is it's going to it's going to change this value so this true will become false so if we have false here then if we use the not operator then it's going to become true so just to demonstrate this what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a variable let's say it's going to be a boolean variable and let's say human whether you are a human or not i'm a human i don't have any doubt All right let's initialize this one to a value of true and then i'm going to use the if statement and here i'm going to check human whether i'm a human if i'm a human then i'm going to print out system dot out dot print line i'm a human else i'm just gonna copy this and paste it so it's gonna be control c and control v and i'm not a human okay simple enough now if i run this program it's gonna print out i'm a human now i'm gonna use a not operator here so what happens is when you use the not operator with a boolean value it's gonna negate the value which is stored in this human variable so this human variable is containing a value of true and and because of this not operator it's gonna become false so now if i run this program you guys can see i'm not a human that's because this not operator has negated the value of this human variable now let's say i'm not a human and when we use this not operator it's gonna negate that value so we're gonna get i'm a human so here this false became true because of this not operator all right the next logical operator that we're gonna learn is about the and operator so this and operator is gonna work on two boolean operands so let's say we're gonna have true and then we're gonna have true so this and operator is gonna yield true when both of its operands are gonna contain a value of true so at this time it's gonna yield true now let's say one of this uh, operand of this and operator is false anyone now the and operator is gonna yield false that's because you know one of its operand is containing a false value similarly if we have the false value here and the true here the result is gonna be false and if we have both false then the result is gonna be false so this and operator is gonna yield only true if both of its operands are containing a value of true all right let's see how to use this and operator in our program so here just for the demonstration purpose what we're going to do is we're going to check whether a number is completely divisible by two and three so we're going to have a variable and let's call it as number and we're going to initialize that later so here we're going to check for the condition if 
and then here we're gonna form the condition so to check whether a number is completely divisible by 2 what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the modulus operator if number modulus 2 is equal to 0 you know which means that the number is completely divisible by 2 and similarly we're gonna have number mod 3 is equal to 0 you know which means that this number is completely divisible by 3 so now we want to check whether this number is completely divisible by both 2 and 3 so I'm gonna use the AND operator here so if all the symbols are confusing then what you can do is you can use the parenthesis here so what it makes is it's gonna make it look simpler you know easy to read and also it solves a lot of ambiguity all right then we can have the body of this if part and i just gonna copy this system dot out dot print line and paste it here and here i'm gonna say let's say let's have a number and uh, i'm gonna say is completely divisible by both 2 and 3 so now you know we are checking whether the number is completely divisible by both 2 and 3 you know we don't care whether it is completely divisible by only 2 or you know whether it is completely divisible by only 3 we want whether it is completely divisible by both 2 and 3 all right then we're gonna have the else part and I just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it here and I just gonna J is not all right now let's initialize this number with a value of let's say 6 now the 6 is completely divisible by both 2 and 3 and if I run this program it's gonna say 6 is completely divisible by both 2 and 3 that's because this number mod 2 is equal to 0 you know which means that it's gonna result in true and this number mod 3 is equal to 0 which is gonna mean that it's gonna result in true so the both of the operands of this AND operator are yielding true and that's why the result of this whole operation is gonna be true and that's why our if part is executed so let's have a number 8 here now if I run this it is not completely divisible by both 2 and 3 that's because 8 is completely divisible by 2 but it is not completely divisible by 3 so the second part is gonna result in false and one of the operand of this AND operator is false and that's why it's gonna yield false and that's why our else part is executed all right the next operator that I want you guys to teach you is about the OR operator so here when you use this AND operator you know the result is gonna be true if both of the operands are true but with this OR operator if any one of the operand is true then the result is gonna be true for example let's say we have true or false so this is gonna result in true that's because you know any one of the operand of this OR operator is true so similarly if ha if we have uh, true or true you know it's gonna result in true because you know any one of this is true and if we have uh, true and false you know it's gonna be true and if we have false and false then it's gonna be false because none of the operand is true all right now uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write the program for that so I'm gonna copy these statements and I'm gonna paste it here and we're gonna change this one to our operator if number mod 2 is equal to 0 or number mod 3 equal to 0 then we're gonna say number is completely divisible by 2 or 3 we may have the situation where you know this number is completely divisible by both 2 and 3 and else we're gonna have by 2 or all right now I'm gonna run this program you guys can see it is completely divisible by 2 or 3 that's because you know the number 8 is completely divisible by 2 and this condition is false you know the number is not completely divisible by 3 
so what happens is you know any one of the operand of this or operator is true that's why the whole operation is gonna result in true and the if part is executed now let's say we have a number um, one you know it is not completely divisible by either two or three so if I run this you guys can see one is not completely divisible by both two or three you know the else part is executed all right the next operator that is left is the exclusive or operator so when you use this exclusive or operator then the result of that operation is going to be true if both of the operands of this or operator is containing different values you know for example let's say we have false and then the exclusive or operator and we have the true now at this time the result of this operation is going to be true that's because this operand 1 and operand 2 are containing different value so i'm just going to copy this and paste it in the next line and now let's say we have first uh, true and then we have false at this time the result is going to be true because you know both of these operands are containing different values so let's say we have both true here so at this time the result is going to be false because both of these operands are not containing different values they are containing the same value and similarly if we have uh, false in both the cases at that time also the result is gonna be false so this is about the exclusive or operator so the result of an exclusive or operator is gonna be true only when both of the operands of that operator are containing different values so we're gonna see how to write a program so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna check whether the number is divisible by two or three but not the both so i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste it here and i'm just gonna use the exclusive or operator and here is completely divisible by two or three but not the both so we're not gonna have the else part here so i just gonna remove that so you know if i use the else part it's gonna be confusing so here so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change this number to a value of eight and i'm gonna run this program and now you guys can see eight is completely divisible by two or three but not the both that's because 8 mod 2 is equal to 0 true and 8 mod 3 is equal to 0 false since both of the operands of this exclusive or operator are containing different values you know it's gonna yield true and the statements inside this will be executed so let's say we're gonna have a number let's call it as 6 you know it is completely divisible by both 2 and 3 and now if i run this you guys can see here you know the number mod 2 equal to 0 which is uh, true number mod 3 equal to 0 you know which is also true and that's why this uh, whole operation is going to produce the false and that's why this if part is not executed so when you use this exclusive or operator you know the result is going to be true only when both of the operands of this exclusive or operator are containing different values so here you know i haven't used the else part you know just because you know it's going to be confusing and just for the demonstration purpose you know i don't want to confuse you guys so this is it guys this is about the logical operators you know the not operator the or operator the and operator and also the exclusive or operator so by using this logical operators along with the comparison operators you guys can form the complex conditions so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have any doubt or any suggestions don't hesitate to tell us and you guys can uh, get the source code of this tutorial in my web blog learninglideducation.blogspot.com and uh, i'll see you in the next tutorial